Today is the last day of Craft Beer Week, and we are joined here in the News 9 kitchen by Throwback Brewery in Northampton. This is Annette and Carrie, and we are making cookies with some spent grains, yep. which sounds like a great use of them, right? Yes, a great use of the spent grain. So we, in the brewing process, we generate malt um, out of the mash tun after we've extracted most of the sugars, and we're able to reuse some of that in the kitchen uh, with our spent grain chocolate chip cookies. So we're making cookies, but you also have all these wonderful breads and pretzels here, so you use those grains also in that. It's yep, yeah, every week we make our own bread and uh, buns for our entrees and the uh, spent grain pretzels. As All well. right. So, Carrie, how do you start out here? What are the ingredients? All right. So, we've got some uh, butter, some farm fresh eggs, your sugar, brown sugar, white sugar. You're going to butter that, uh, cream it together, add your eggs. Then you're going to add in your regular flour, and then we have our spent grain flour right here. Um, it starts off as this wet grain, then we dry it, and then we process it in a food processor, and it ends up being something like this. And then you're gonna add in your chocolate chips as well as your vanilla and your salt and your baking soda. So Carrie, what does it do to any kind of baked good, especially cookies? I think that it imparts a richer, nuttier flavor. Um, also, it, it's something that ties close to our mission. We try to reuse things that we have as quote unquote byproducts. Um, it also can be used as um, feed for local animals. And if people are not familiar with Throwback, you're located right there on a farm. We're on uh, Hobbs Farm in Northampton, and uh, we have about 12 acres. We grow a lot of our own food for the kitchen, uh, as well as some of the ingredients for our beer. Yeah. And you're growing hops. We grow hops, yeah. Which I think a lot of people yeah. might be surprised to learn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, New England was the hop growing region of the country pre-prohibition, so it's just one of those things that we're trying to bring back a little bit to our, our area. So. And of course, it's Craft Beer Week. Tell us a little bit about your brews. Uh, well, we make all our beers uh, at the property in the barn. Um, we brought uh, some of the beers that we're canning now, our Hank's Pale Ale, uh, Love Me Long Time, Pilsner, um, the Hopstruck Red IPA, and our Dippity Doo Brown Ale. So. Dippity Doo. Dippity Doo, <laughs> yep, it's American Brown. <laughs> Where do you get the names for your? Um, uh, sometimes there's drinking involved, <laughs> and uh, sometimes it just, uh, the name comes before the beer, and we're inspired by something to, uh, to create a beer. And do you use the beer in um, some of your cooking too as well? Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, one of our best sellers is our throwback burger, which we have in our spent grain bun, and then we make a beer honey that goes with caramelized onions and Gruyere cheese. It's oh, our wow. top seller there. That sounds delicious. Well, ladies, <laughs> thanks for coming in. This looks absolutely wonderful. And uh, again, if people want to check out Throwback Brewery, where where should they go? Uh, well, online you can go to throwbackbrewery.com and um, our, uh, our Facebook page, Throwback Brewery, and, um, or just come to Northampton and check us out. Wonderful. Yeah. Ladies, thanks so much. Thank we you. appreciate it. Thanks oh, for that's having great. Us. We'll be right back. Yeah.